We're heading to the airport now from the Bronx to Miami. Welcome guys. Today we are flying with Spirit from LaGuardia Airport, New York City to Miami International Airport, obviously in Miami. And we're gonna go try out their big seats. They're the big front seats that they sell for an upcharge. We paid $80, 40 for me and 40 for her back there. Let's see what it's all about because normal seats on Spirit are just so cramped and the, the little tray that comes down is so tiny. So hopefully it's worth the upgrade. This is LaGuardia's Terminal A, which as of this video is shared by JetBlue and Spirit Airlines. It's really small, but I really enjoy their tablets, which allows you to browse the internet and order food and drinks right to your table. They have various appetizers, sandwiches, and pizzas if you want a quick bite before your flight. If you're in the mood for a drink, they have wine, mixed drinks, and beer for your choosing. For lunch, I had their Capri sandwich, which was very delicious. I scarfed it down just in time for boarding. We are now getting on the airplane. This one does have Wi-Fi. They've expanded it to most of their aircraft. So we will test the Wi-Fi speeds and all that good stuff. First, let's check out the big seat. These are Spirit's big front seats. They come as an upcharge and feature plenty of legroom and more cushioned seats compared to the rest of the seats in the cabin. As you can see here, I'm more than comfortable and have plenty of space to sit however I want. So far, the seats, they are pretty spacious. I mean, compared to the ones back there where you feel like you're like stuck in a narrow seat, and you have three. This one's configured to just two on each side and plenty of leg room. You can see here. Another good thing about this is they're called the big front seats. So you're obviously in the front of the aircraft. You have access to the restroom without having to bother anybody. Just walk through here. They also have big front seats behind us. So it's two, 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 two behind this, and then the regular cabin. Another perk is I believe they start the drink services on this side from the front, so we'll be served first. We also have a center console here. I don't know how to open the tray table, but normally they're very small back there. I think we have a big tray table as soon as I figure out how to get it open. I found the tray table. It is right here. And I actually want to see how big it is compared to your standard one. Pretty cool. Actually, I don't know if I did this right because it looks backwards. The cup holder is like on the bottom. I don't get it. Did I build it right? <laughs> anyway, this is a lot bigger than your standard one. I would say it's like the normal one is from here to like right here. And it's very small. And it's usually on the back. So the flight attendant just said that she couldn't have her purse on top of her. From um, and, and we had like a couple bags like, with recall somewhere in that gap device, and they said we had to put it up there. So I think if attendant, you're at the very, the very front, there are more restrictions on what you, you can keep on yourself. Phones? I get it now. Normally there's a seat in front of you, you can put stuff under, but being in the front, you just have this. And the seat under me, someone already put their stuff there. After waiting several minutes for takeoff, we are now on our way, and wow, look at how many airplanes were in queue to also depart the Guardia Airport this Tuesday night. Unfortunately, just because you have the big front seat doesn't mean you get any freebies from the food and drinks menu. You have to pay just like everybody else, so don't see this seat upgrade as a first class experience, because it's really not. Anyway. Like any traditional spirit menu, you can buy little bottles of alcohol, have the flight attendant prepare you a mixed drink, or opt for some coffee, water, soda, or juices. For snacks, they have plenty of pretty basic items like cookies, chips, cheese trays, and chocolate. I decided to get the cheese tray and Coke for my meal. I think my favorite part of this seat is obviously the leg space, but the middle console. I mean, you could do so much with it, like keep my drink here, here. If I had a laptop, it would fit so perfectly on here. The moment has come to try Spirit's in-flight Wi-Fi. This is something that I was pretty excited about because if you don't download anything prior, you're going to be pretty bored on the flight. Again, you still have to pay for this even if you're sitting in the big front seats. Basic Wi-Fi, which covers your internet browsing, is $6.99. If you want to load up streaming services like Netflix or even watch YouTube videos, then pay for the second option, which costs $8.99. However, after many attempts to get the internet working, it never did. Fortunately, we downloaded a movie prior to taking off, and that center console really did come in handy. This is the inside of the 
spirit plane restroom have these the ultra wide lens because it is so small they do have a baby changing station of course a sink a nice mirror and blush button this is a bit embarrassing, but I didn't realize the tray table could be adjusted until like 20 minutes left in the flight. And of course, it's not a proper spirit flight without some kind of incident. So, ladies and gentlemen, please don't smoke or vape on the plane. Because if you do, you'll have police waiting for you right when you land. All right, I'm back in Miami. So let's talk about were the seats worth it? Honestly, yes. For what we paid, $40 each, they are well worth it. If you've ever flown Spirit, you'll know that the seats are very uncomfortable and that's part of why people hate it among other things. But they do have cheap flights and people put up with them. But for an additional fee, I'm not sure what the price range is. It could be less than 40 when you decide to book for your specific flight or more than 40. But my current rate from New York, LaGuardia Airport to Miami International Airport was $40 a seat. There's some pros and cons and it'll depend on which seat you sit in, which row. If you sit at the very, very front row, you'll have the wall as you guys saw in earlier clips. And that's normally where the front seat is that you would store a, a small purse or, or a small bag under. Since you don't have that, you have to put everything above. So my girlfriend was told to put her purse up there. That's where we had our money. We should have taken it out before putting it up there, but when they brought the food down and whatnot, we had them bring it down for us to grab the money. So keep that in mind. They do have the big front seat. I think the first two or three rows. So if you don't want to have to go through all of that, just pick the second or third row, whichever is not the first first row because you'll be limited by that. Another thing that I guess I did not like was obviously there's uh, no in-flight entertainment on any spirit. You just have to use your own device. And uh, yeah, but this one had Wi-Fi. It's not limited to the big seat. They're adding this to most of the airlines. This one had Wi-Fi and I paid the $8.99. Unfortunately, the Wi-Fi didn't work. I wasted my money. I was trying to connect to it for like half of the flight and it did not work. I know that when you're descending at your final location, it doesn't work, but mid-flight, like literally early on in the flight it was not working after i paid and i tried everything and it just didn't work so what i would recommend is speak with your flight attendant before you decide to buy it tell them or ask them is everything working in terms of wi-fi because if it doesn't i, I don't know I'm, I'm gonna have to hit them up on customer support and see if they can refund me my money or give me some kind of credit for a future flight uh, for future wi-fi on a flight and i don't know so let's talk about the pros. The things that I liked the most was the space, obviously. And if I had to describe the big front seat, I would say you're only getting more space. You're only getting more space. Don't think of anything else. You're getting more space, that's it. You're getting big, big tray space, big comfortable seats. You're getting a center console that if you're sitting next to a stranger, you'll have enough elbow room so you won't be touching them. Uh, I had enough leg room to cross my legs while I was sitting. It was just so comfortable. I've been on flights on Spirit that were from Miami to Vegas and it was just so long and I honestly had leg pain at the end of it. And I just felt, I, was, I felt like royalty on this one just by the extra seat that I got. So yeah, there you have it. If you can spend the extra money, or just compare to other flights what they charge for their regular seats because Spirit obviously is a smaller option out of all of them, the most uncomfortable seats. But if you can spend the extra money on the big front seat, Compared to other airlines that you're also looking into buying, it might be cheaper to just go with Spirit, the big front seats, and you'll sit comfortably. You'll be one of the first on the plane, and I was actually the first one off the plane, which has never happened in my life. And when they're serving food and drinks, you'll be the first person served. So yeah, leave a like on this video, subscribe, it's free, supports the channel, join the family. I live in Miami Beach, and I'm giving you guys a lot of content from here coming soon. We got spring break going on. We got Ultra Music Festival coming to town. A lot of craziness, a lot of people coming from all parts of the country and the world. And I am in the heart of it. So you guys want to see more content of that? Hit the like button, especially if you enjoyed this video so other people can find it. Subscribe again, it's free. Leave a comment down below if you've ever flown Spirit and if you've ever been on the big front seat, what were your thoughts on Spirit Airline as a company, as a in-flight experience and what was your opinion on the big front seat so let me know in the comment section below i'll catch you guys in the next one